Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing Laplace transform, type number 1 basic problems, problem number 5 to 8. Welcome back students, let's move on and let's discuss the further problems. In the last video we discussed four, first 4 problems of Laplace transform. Now we will move on and we will discuss problem number 5 to 8. So we are into type 1 that is basic problems. So let's begin. So first problem is a sine cube t. Again, the problem is this cube because we know we have formula for raise to 1. Right? So again, this is the problem and we need to convert this cube into linear term. So how we can do that? For that purpose, you need to remember the formula. So let me write it on the formula for both sine as well as cos. sin 3t is equal to 3 sin t minus 4 sin cube t. So this is the formula for sin 3t but we have, don't want formula for sin 3t. We want formula for sin cube t. You need to remember this formula. There is no other way. So sin cube t you can get it from here. So what is sin cube t? Sin cube t from this formula is see here. Take this side, so this 3 sin t, this will go that side, minus sin 3t upon 4. So you are going to divide by this 4, right? This is this side, 3 sin t, sin 3t and 4. So 4 will go that side. So this is the formula that you need to remember. So whichever formula you want to remember, you can remember anyhow, we are going to use this formula. So better you directly remember this. Next, again cos 3t, we have formula. 4 cos cube t minus 3 cos t. So from this formula you can get cos cube t as so this term will go that side. So this will be cos 3t plus 3 cos t and this is divided by 4. So these are the two formulas that we are going to use for solving problem number 5 and 6. So let's move on and let's discuss problem number 5. Laplace of f of t is equal to Laplace of sin cube t. So which is equal to Laplace of sin cube t. Sin cube t you can write it down there as see here. It's 3 sin t minus sin 3 t upon 4. Again make a list of these formulas. This is uh, what is the first formula? Sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. The first formula that we discussed. Next, sin 2 theta. Half angle formula. Second one. Third and fourth this cos square theta and sin square theta. Cos square theta is 1 plus cos 2 theta upon 2. And uh, sin square theta is 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 2. So we discussed four formulas. This is formula number 5 and formula number 6. Make a note of it. Uh, do one thing. Uh, on the last page of book, uh, make a list of the formulas. See, this is formula number 5 and formula number 6. Okay. So let's move on. So you can see this 4 is a constant that will come out of the Laplace transform. So 1 upon 4 outside Laplace of 3 sin t minus sin 3t. Now these two terms are separated by minus. So we can take, uh, we can separate Laplace transform here. So this will be 1 upon 4 Laplace of 3 sin t minus Laplace of sin 3t. So which is equal to 1 upon 4. If you observe this term here, this 3 is constant, so that will come out. So 3 is constant that will come out of the Laplace transform. You will be left with Laplace of sin t. Laplace of sin t is, see here, sin a t is a upon s square plus a square. So here if it is a, we are going to write it down a. But here, see what is a? Whatever with the t is a. Here with the t we have 1. So it will be 1 upon s square plus 1 minus sin 3t Laplace 3 upon s square plus 9. So this is your fifth problem. Let's move on sixth one. No need to solve further. Obviously you can simplify but uh, I'm, keeping it, I'm keeping it as it is. At most if you want you can take 3 common. So 3 common that will come out. So you'll be left with 1 upon s square plus 1 minus 1 upon s square plus 9. So keep these two brackets as it is. Uh, so the question is, in the exam also we are going to keep it as it is? Yes, in the exam also, please don't simplify. 
uh, don't take LCM and all, you can keep it as it is. If you want to do it, you can do it, but it will be unnecessary wastage of time. So keep it as it is. Let's move on. Laplace of f of t is equal to Laplace of cos u of t. I think you should pause this video right now and try to solve the problem. Solve by yourself and you can verify your answer. You can see here, for cos 3d or the cos cube t, we have used this formula. For sin cube t, we're going to use this formula. It's very simple. Just to use the formula and you get your result. So let's do it. So Laplace of cos cube t. So this will be cos 3d plus 3 cos t upon 4. Here 1 upon 4 is a constant that will come out and let me find it out directly Laplace of cos 3d is what cos 3d s upon s square plus a square the same way it will be 3 upon s square plus 9 plus let us find it out Laplace of this term 3 cos t here 3 is a constant term right 3 is a constant term and cos t Laplace is a 1 upon s square plus 1 so this is the Laplace of problem number 5 and 6. Let's move on and let's discuss problem number 7 and 8. Problem number 7. Laplace of f of t is equal to Laplace of sin days to 4t. Now the question is same. What is the problem here? See friends, this 4 is a problem. Likewise, square cube again this 4 is a problem for us so what needs to be done we need something uh, formula through which we can uh, convert this 4 into linear term so sin is to 40 is a problem so how to convert it see here you can write it down this sin is to 4 as sin square t the whole square are you okay with it yes obviously we can write it down because square square will become 4 what next sin square t sin square t you know problem number three what we did with sin square t the same thing we're gonna do in this particular problem problem number three what we did remember yes what here it will be laplace of sin square t we're gonna write it down as one minus cos 2t upon 2 and the whole square aim is very clear first of all keep this in mind what we're trying to do we are trying to convert this 4 into linear terms, right? So sin square t, you can write it down like this. Now let us open the brackets. So this will be Laplace of, if you open the brackets, this will be 1 upon 4, see here. 2, 2 square will be 1 upon 4 and that can come out of the Laplace transform because it's a constant. So 1 upon 4, Laplace of, inside will be left with the, 1 minus cos 2t the whole square because this 4 is outside so 1 minus cos 2t the whole square what is the formula a square minus 2ab plus b square so a square means 1 minus twice ab so twice ab so a is 1 and b is cos 2t so twice ab plus b square b square means cos square 2t Okay, let's move on further. Tell me, can I separate Laplace transform here or not? Yes or no? Yes. Why? Because all the terms are separated with plus or minus. This is clear. But, see, I can find it out Laplace of 1. I can find it out Laplace of cos 2t. But, I can't find it out Laplace of cos square 2t. Why? Because of this square. Remember which problem? Problem number 4. In problem number 4, what we had? cos square t right here what we have cos square 2t so what needs to be done first of all you need to convert cos square 2t into linear terms so i can separate but i'm not doing it first of all let us simplify this term once i'm sure if i can find it out laplace of each and every term then i will se separate laplace transform is this clear so let's do it quickly so this will be 1 upon 4 laplace of 1 minus 2 cos 2t plus cos square 2t. So this can be written as 1 plus cos 4t upon 2. How this 4t? We have discussed this formula in detail. So 2 to the 4. Make a list of a formulas on the last page. We have discussed 6 formulas till now. This is 5th and 6th one. Okay, so let's move on. This will be 1 upon 4. Laplace of 1 minus 2 cos 2t 
here you can separate this so you can write down as 1 by 2 plus cos 4d by 2 obviously you can write it down there is a nothing rocket science so this is 1 by 2 cos 4d upon 2 that is okay now let's add this one and half so if you add one and half this will become three by two so one plus half will become three by two this term will remain as it is so one and half three by two this will come as it is this will come as it is now i can separate laplace transform because all the terms converted into linear terms so let us separate it out now so this will be one upon four Laplace of 3 by 2 minus Laplace of 2 cos 2t plus Laplace of cos 4t upon 2. Let us move on 1 upon 4. Yes, please. Can you tell me what is Laplace of 3 by 2? It's very simple. How to find Laplace of 3 by 2? See here. This 3 by 2 is a constant will come out. And inside, if 3 by 2 came out, it will be left with 1. And what is Laplace of 1? 1 by s. So in short, this is 3 by 2 into 1 by s. Is this clear? So it will be 3 by 2 into 1 by s minus. If you observe this, this 2 is constant that will come out. Cos 2t. Cos 2t, Laplace is s upon s square plus 4 plus. If you see this term, this 1 upon 2 is a constant will come out. We will be left with the cos 4t. And what is cos 4t? S upon s square plus 16. So this is your required solution. If you want, you can simplify it further, but no need to do it. You will get full marks for this. Keep it as it is. Don't try to simplify it. Don't try to take LCM unnecessary. Uh, you will make your life difficult. So keep it as it is. Is this clear? So done with problem number 7. What is problem number 8? Tell me friends, can you solve problem number 8 by yourself? Is it possible? Yes or no? I can solve orally for you. How? Problem number 8 is what? Cos raised to 4t. So cos raised to 4t. What are you going to write it down? Cos square t square. And cos square t you are going to write down as 1 plus cos 2t upon 2 the whole square. 1 upon 4 outside, 1 plus cos 2t, a plus b the whole square, a square plus twice a b plus b square, 1 plus cos 2t, twice cos 2t plus cos square 2t. And that cos square 2t, you are going to convert it into 1 plus cos 4t upon 2. 1, 1 by 2 will become 3 by 2. So, we will have the 3 terms, 3 by 2 Laplace is 3 by 2s, plus the second term will be twice cos 2t. So, 2 s upon s square plus 4 and finally cos 4t upon 2. So, 1 upon 2 s upon s square plus 16. Did you understand? No? Don't worry. See, I am going to make few changes in this particular problem and our next problem will be ready. So, only few changes in this problem. See here. The question is here. We have cos raised to 4d. So, let's make few changes here. So, it will be cos square. Because of that, it will become plus. What next? Plus, 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 plus. That's it done. And we are ready with problem number 8 also. Are you clear with it? Yes or no? Yes? So, done with it. In the next videos, we'll discuss a few more problems. Thank you.